Hey Tony, it's Friday, and first off, to answer your question of the week, most of what I've been doing is just hiking a lot of the trails back here. Um, I haven't really stepped up into full gear yet. Oh no, I guess that's not fully true, and also on a, usually Mondays and Wednesdays, I go to Jay's parents' place and work out there, which works out pretty well. This week, however, was a little bit of a bust. Uh, last, <clears throat> last Saturday and Sunday, I pulled some muscles, I think, like here, here, and down. And it really was uh, only yesterday when I was back to more or less full. And today I'm back pretty much full range of motion, but I didn't want to. I didn't really want to push anything and make any make any potential damage worse. So I was just uh, letting it heal for a few days. I'm uh, feeling much better now. Um, this weekend I'm going to try and do a little bit, but it's unlikely. There's a lot going on this weekend. Uh, tomorrow. We want to do a lot of cleaning in the morning and uh, in the afternoon. Two of our good friends from AmpedGuard are getting married, and it's going to be a cool Zoom. It's going to be a great Zoom wedding, so I'm looking forward to that. Then Sunday uh, is Easter. We're going over to Jay's parents' place for a nice Easter dinner, which will be good. And I am giving blood that earlier that day, so I'm not going to be working out on Sunday, probably. If I do, it'll be like early on Sunday before I go to my before I go to my appointment, but I haven't fully decided yet. That being said, my weighted vest did come in this week, so that that's nice. It actually came in today. I have it set, I think, currently to about 15 pounds, which will be what I'll stick out stick with for a little bit until I feel more comfortable and I can throw a little more weight on. And my goal is absolutely to be uh, by July. Uh, really, actually, by probably middle of June. Will be fully going out uh, with the full forty pounds, so it's gonna be it's gonna be a real uh, gonna be a little intense for a couple months, but that's okay. I'm looking forward to that, and I'm also really looking forward to the Mount Washington trip as a whole. I really hope you and Theo can come out and do that. I really hope uh, my buddy Brennan can do it, and I really hope Taylor can do it too, because I think it'll be a really fun weekend, and I'm looking forward to that. Uh, otherwise, this week was really busy. Um, I was in court a lot. Unfortunately, uh, one of my supervising attorneys, uh, her mother-in-law passed away, so I covered a lot for her the, later in the week, including yesterday that I had a really frustrating hearing with, uh, with a sovereign citizen who, her, her defense was that I don't owe this debt because money doesn't exist, and if money doesn't exist, Bank of America can't own this money, and therefore I don't, own, I don't owe Bank of America anything. Yeah, that was her defense. It's it's a sovereign citizen defense. It was really popular about 15 years ago, and it's I'm guessing kind of coming back a little bit here, but it's complete and total bollocks. Um, their money is in fact a thing. At least it's a thing we give value to. No, you do not. It's not required that you have to you have to re uh, respond to an affidavit when we don't even know exactly what you're going at. No, you're not. You're not. You know. A, a corporation can collect money that is owed to them. And it was just a whole... It, it was a whole thing yesterday. And then today I dealt with a real frustrating call with a uh, with a New York attorney who... You know, like, I... His offer was, hey, don't charge my client for six months because she doesn't have money. And I can't do that. Uh, my client is Bank of America. I am required by legal ethics to be their zealous advocate. And I cannot offer that because I can't accept that because that is not in my client's best interest. So, you know, he got all, he got all angry, uh, asked me, does the money really matter that much that you're willing to take blood from, take blood from a poor woman? I was like, this is what my, this is my client's position. And he's like, oh, how cold hearted can you be? You must, you must have so many issues looking at yourself in the mirror. And this when I was just, you know, basically tuned him out. I was like, listen, if, if you want to charming this up to my supervisor, Here's his extension, and just left it at that. So that that was this week. It was kind of a uh, it was frustrating, really busy. Again, a lot of court um, today. I think I signed. I, lo I I stopped counting at about eighty documents today, and I'm pretty sure I did well over two hundred. So I'm pretty. Uh, day was really busy. Like it was nonstop for me from a uh, moment I got in around eight eight ten to uh, the moment I left at about four forty five. It was just nonstop. Which is fine. I mean, it's private practice. I was the only attorney in the office today, so I had to sign everything for Connecticut, everything for Massachusetts. So it was just one of those days. But otherwise, it was a pretty decent week. Um, don't really have much to talk about because it was just a, a weekend full of work. Uh, so just, that was just a little bit of an update. Um, I am, like I said earlier, I'm really looking forward to the Mount Washington trip. I think it's going to be really fun. 
And uh, I'm looking forward to really kicking in that training this coming week. It's supposed to be getting a lot nicer out too, which which always helps. Because we're going to need to be in really good shape. And I need to buy a couple more things, I imagine. Uh, predominantly, I'm going to have to buy um, a tent. I'm going to have to buy a, a couple sleeping bags, like a couple lightweight sleeping bags. And uh, probably a camp stove. These are just things I'll pick up like kind of along the way. But I'm also going to, you know, get in touch with uh, everyone to see, okay, what all do we have? Especially when everyone is confirmed of, okay, yeah, we're definitely doing this. Because then it's going to be like, okay, so if you bring this, then I'll bring this. And hopefully that makes that easier and more inexpensive for everyone. But otherwise, it, it should be a real fun time. I'm really excited for it. I think we're really going to really enjoy it. And uh, we'll kind of go from there. It might end up only being a one-day hike. We'll see what happens. Uh, I've, I'll do a lot more looking into it this week. So I can get like the full plan in place. I'll probably get really the full plan in place when I get like, okay particularly from Brendan, like, when is his friend's, when is his friend's bachelor party? Because that'll adjust things. But I'll end up looking around to see, okay, do we want to do a one-day hike? Do we want to do a two-day hike? If we want to do a two-day hike, what all do we need? Those are all things I'm going to be looking at for the next couple of weeks. But otherwise, I'm looking forward to it. I think it's going to be a real fun time. So, Tony, my question for you is, what do you think you're most looking forward to about the hike up Mount Washington? Tony, I'll see you on Monday. Later, bro.